so we're assigned to, well, essentially Virgin Records, let's face it, due to go out to uh, New York <coughs> on a jumbo jet or whatever, to have a meeting that night. The plane was full. Lots of people were offered a lot of money to not get on the plane and to get a later flight. And we got on the plane and these animal men didn't. <laughs> the record company and all the A&R men and discuss a strategy. You know, it's really important. And then we were at the airport and someone came over and said, we'll give you guys 500 quid each if you get the next plane out because we've overbooked. And we were like, yes, please. If there was something like getting on a plane or getting through customs, I'm not going to be fucking around. And, um, and then we proceeded to get absolutely royally wasted. We should have just got the scheduled flight because we missed the entire meet and greet and everything. We didn't care. As the first time I'd been on an aeroplane in a long time, I think it was the first time the band had been sent abroad. It was the first time I'd ever been to the United States. It was very very special and I felt very, very privileged. I drank a litre of rum on the flight. A whole litre. Um, I'm surprised they let me in. Not something to be proud of. I could hardly stand up. And we, we were, like, fearful that he, whether he would get in or not, but he did, so kind of fell through the barrier in the end, I think. He said to me, I was behind the rope, you know, he said, step forward. <laughs> I thought, I can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> <But, yeah. laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> no one was in charge. No one was sober enough to get anywhere. We'd, we'd been drunk, sobered up, got drunk, sobered up. By the time we went on, it was a bit of a blur, to be honest. And then we get into the Chelsea Hotel, and obviously our rooms have gone. <laughs> Paul Moody was mugged. He went bright red. He was, he's, he, and, and Paddy was held up with a gun. We did it all, you know. We stood on the corner, a gigantic, barge of a car went by and some guy leaned out the window and just goes fuck off like that and we're like this is the greatest thing that's ever happened i'm actually living in fucking um dirty Harry. someone someone did threaten to kill us with an uzi yeah that did happen we went to a club called babyland fuck we, we went in there everyone's dressed as a baby and there's, and there's <laughs> There's cops and stuff, you know, and these are the cool, uh, this is the crowd, the in crowd in New York. And we're like, what the fucking hell's going on here? So we start taking the piss, as you would, just out of pure wonder. And some guy's like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to get my Uzi and I'm going to come back and you lot are going to fucking die. <laughs> and he's dressed as a baby. 